Alright guys, welcome back. If you guys have made it this far, you might as well keep going. Shout out to all my subscribers in Italy, Holland, Romania, and England. Because I know you guys are following along as I make these. And you guys are also beating the system. Because a lot of people are taking out a lot of money right now in school loans to learn this stuff. But it doesn't make sense. Because information is too accessible nowadays. Google has taken all of the information in the world and made it free. So right on to all of you for beating the system and learning this stuff for free when other people are taking out loans and getting in debt. Okay, uh, let's uh, move it on. Let's work on our pages right now. First things first, I deleted our letter that we had, so just click on that and then uh, delete it. We don't need that. And what I want to do in this video is we pretty much created all the functions that we're going to use. All we really need to do now is just kind of edit them because we're going to use them as a template for our pages for all our information that we created right here we can use those functions and the PHP that we already created so now we're pretty much just coasting home we can use all the stuff we've created to finish whatever we want to do with the rest of our CMS and don't think using a template is bad everybody does it people to make video games people to build websites like if you're ever playing say FIFA for 2012 and you look at like you go home or you go to like the the main screen where you select your options if you look at the same exact home screen for like Madden 2012, uh, you, it's the exact same. They're just using a template to save time and still get the message across. So don't think that if you use a template or your your past work, you know, copying, pasting is bad. It's not at all. Everybody does it. It's actually really smart to do. Okay. So what I want to do in this video is I want to go ahead and create another functions for our pages form. And we're really just going to use all of our previous functions and code we've already created to input that. But in this video, let's go ahead and create a new file and we'll put it in our includes folder. So what do we want to do? It opens up in the external browser as always. I could have bet on that. And uh, what am I doing? Text paint will go new. Of course, external browser. Mouse is working. And let's go ahead and save this as I will just go ahead and call this, where is our folder, where is my folder, no not in documents, in desktop, where's my folder, what's going on, there's too much going on, save in VP, and I'll just go ahead and call this form underscore functions dot php. Okay, cool. And in the next video, we'll pull some of our old code, we'll bring it into here, and we'll just change the variables up a little bit. We'll, and we'll have the same if statements, the same else statements, the same for each loops. You'll see what I'm talking about in the next video. So good luck with this, guys. It was just kind of a short recap. Again, shout out to all you guys that have made it this far. Might as well keep going. See you guys in the next video.